This is a quick demonstration of the new nested option menus control available in Template Studio Author in NX2506, the June 2025 release of NX. This new control is perfect for situations where you have a set of options that depend on each other, where a selection in one option menu is going to drive changes to the available options in the menus below. Uh, I'm going to show a quick example here. I have a longer version of this video that's available as well that, that goes into lots and lots of detail. <laughs> but in this particular part here, we're going to use a product template to illustrate this. This exact same technique works perfectly with feature templates or deformable parts as well, as all three of these now use the, the template studio author environment uh, to create UI for these kinds of objects. Okay, Product template here, uh, this one is going to wrap a UI around the entire part. And uh, the thing we're going to see here is that we have this new nested options control that we can drop onto a dialog. Uh, as we do that, this is going to ask for a spreadsheet. Okay, the spreadsheet has a, a specific format that we're going to use to uh, to define that. The simplest version of this looks a lot like part families. <laughs> it's going to have this parameters at the top. It's going to have one at the bottom that says end, right there. <laughs> And, uh, and we can list some expression names across the top, and it will, will uh, list those expressions, of course. And, uh, and this kind of table will uh, get interpreted here in uh, Template Studio Author uh, to build a set of UI for us uh, out here. Okay, If we choose that first spreadsheet, number one there, and uh, add this, you will see that we're going to get this new nested options control here that's going to give us uh, things that have uh, options available uh, up here above. And uh, there's some details of the other parameters in the spreadsheet that will show up down below. Uh, if we go out and take a look at this, I'm going to turn on immediate update here for this as well. Uh, if you have a lightweight model like this one, this is super, super nice for very dynamic behavior. If you've got a really, really heavy assembly, for instance, that you're driving or a very complex part, you may or may not want to do this update immediately. You might want to leave that off or uh, uh, yeah, choose a wait, wait for apply. <laughs> but uh, this, this NX update, this one we're going to turn on. This case is super light. Uh, so let's go out and take a look at what this does. Again, this builds that UI so that now as we do our uh, reusable component here, we'll go and get this uh, set of option menus created that, again, are going to look at that spreadsheet and give us all the options that are available in that spreadsheet. Okay, So we choose an option there, for instance, uh, with this 60 width, our thicknesses are between 2 and 6 here, you can see here, 2.6 and 6.3. Uh, if we change this to a, a different, uh, let's go big <laughs> size, you'll see now that these are between 6 and 16. Okay, uh, There are some of these that have multiple thick or multiple body width 2s available. If we go to this 100 here, you'll notice now that we get this second option menu that lets us choose between 50 and 60. Uh, that again is coming from our spreadsheet uh, where we look at that and come down to the hundreds, we've got some 50s and we've got some 60s available here next to the next to the 100. So again, looking at the spreadsheet, that's going and creating that set of option menus there for us. If we go to one that doesn't have that second option, it'll drop down below. We'll see that be, be clean there. Okay. Now, we can choose, if we don't want to see the detailed parameters down below, we can choose to hide those. The show details is going to show this lower pane if we hide that, we'll get just the available options up above. If that makes sense for your case, that's an even cleaner way to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you one more uh, spreadsheet here. And there are a whole bunch of variations here, but this is a, a the simple demonstration. <laughs> this one is uh, going to use spreadsheet 4 here. right? And this is going to do a couple of things that are a little different. Um, this is spreadsheet 4 you'll notice that this now is condensing um, multiple options into one cell. Okay, So in that previous example, we had in this spreadsheet, uh, if we scroll all the way down, we have 114 minus a couple, so 112 options in this spreadsheet that are defined in this spreadsheet. Uh, those same 112 options here are defined in 19 minus 2 and 17 rows. Okay, So for instance, this first one here has one, two, three, four thicknesses defined, right? So four rows from that original spreadsheet are defined by this one. This one here has these two widths in here plus one, two, three, four, five thicknesses. So this is actually consolidating 10 rows in that other spreadsheet into this one, 
which is interesting. This is also showing this behavior here where we can do a sparse table. You do the 30 here and, and this will just assume that everything below it is, uh, is also 30. <laughs> okay, so there's some uh, some interesting shortcuts uh, in here. You'll notice also these names in parentheses up above. Uh, these uh, uppercase ones in this case are the, no pun intended, are the uh, expression names. The things in parentheses we can add here and this will uh, will give us a, a more descriptive name on the dialog. So these names here that we're seeing are coming from that, uh, that uh, uh, parentheses, okay? So in this case here, if we come out and take a look at this spreadsheet, we can do our uh, dialogue here. And uh, again, we get these options uh, up above. The red here that you see is uh, indicating that the model's in a state right now that's not in the table, right? It's gonna warn us if it gets into that state. Uh, if, it, if it does, that's, that's okay right now. We've, we've left this as editable right now. Uh, if we move it to another state and then come back to that one, it'll uh, 150, it'll automatically take it back to black there for us. But right now we've got this, so it's editable, and uh, we can put it, put it into that red state if we want to. Okay, again, uh, with that condensed spreadsheet, we're still getting all of the the functionality here relative to all of the thicknesses and so forth uh, that we got with the, uh, the the longer form spreadsheet. Okay, so that's a little teaser on uh, on this nested options control. We can, again use this exactly the same way in product templates and feature templates and in deformable parts uh, in from the context of the uh, template studio author environment. I hope you find that useful. <laughs>